Section 1. You will hear two colleagues, Marcus and Ella, discussing a work project. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 5. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. OK, Ella. As you know, the deadline for this project is the end of the month, so we'd better plan it well. Yes, I've already been thinking along those lines, and I've decided we should divide this project into three phases. The pre-phase, then phase one, and then phase two, with strict deadlines involved for each one. The woman uses the term pre-phase, so pre-phase has been written in space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Now listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 5. OK, Ella. As you know, the deadline for this project is the end of the month, so we'd better plan it well. Yes, I've already been thinking along those lines, and I've decided we should divide this project into three phases. The pre-phase, then phase one, and then phase two, with strict deadlines involved for each one. Given that we have to finish this quickly, that sounds good. Tell me more. The pre-phase is the simplest. We just need to allocate a space or a place to do our planning, and this space will need to be quite big. Sure, and we have to decide on the equipment needed as well. Remember the last project when we didn't have enough projectors to present our ideas? We lost lots of time there. Yes, that was a bad start. That's why, after the pre-phase is finished, I've allocated a mere three days for phase one. That will involve drawing the plans. We'll need Jenna to help us. And Marco. Yes, but not Susan. Susan is just far too busy to participate, as much as I'd like her in the team. Let's just take Fred instead. He'll do. Sure. Fred's not as experienced as Greg, but I agree he'll do fine for this job. Then it's straight into phase two. Collecting, collating, analysing and preparing the final report. Can we do that in five days? I think that's optimistic, which is why I scheduled six. That's almost a week. Do we have that much time? We do, and with the right people, six days should see the job done. Who are the people for this phase? Arthur and Rob, right? No, Arthur's got other things to do, and Rob's on leave, so Mike alone will be the main man on this part. He's done it before, so it should be fine. But he may need some help with the smaller tasks, someone who is good with detail and procedures. Hmm, Peter's not free at the moment, so I can arrange Leo to chip in some time and advice. Leo's very useful, particularly under pressure. And that's everything sorted. Well done, Ella. This report should certainly be ready in time. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. OK, Ella, you've done a good job with the basic time frame of this project, but what about specifics? What sort of specifics? Well, things like information gathering. Are we going to use questionnaires like we did last time? I was thinking of using the internet to ask people to give their views, but you often get such silly responses when you do that. I'm of the view that the best way to find out things is to ask people directly, so that's what we'll do. OK, but that will take longer. We'll probably even have to do some of the work at home. No, I don't think so, as long as we stay back at work for some after-hours meetings. Well, that's better than coming in early. No one functions well in the morning. Also, the final report will need at least two appendices. Not only that, we'll have to attach a small booklet to the end, containing printouts of the relevant parts from all the foreign websites we accessed. That will take even more time. Are you sure we can meet this deadline? Yep, I've worked it all out and I'm confident we can do it. Phase 1 should be finished by the 5th, leaving Phase 2 to begin about the 8th or 9th. Now, there's a public holiday on the 10th, meaning that everything should be able to be submitted on the 15th. And after that, we can relax and celebrate on the 25th when the Design Division gives us approval to go ahead. 
Ha! You're assuming that the design division will approve this, and that's not guaranteed at all. Oh, come on, Marcus, be positive. You know this should be approved. In fact, I'm even planning the celebration when this is all over. Oh, yeah? What's on the agenda then? Well, we definitely don't want to party in the office, do we? We want to get away from this place. And we're all too busy with our own lives and families to find a mutual time free for a dinner party. So I thought we'd just buy some nice, expensive gifts for everyone who participated. We can just give these to the people here in the office. That sounds fine to me, but make sure they're not too expensive. The budget department will never approve the cost. Don't worry, I know how much I can get away with. All right, I'll leave that with you. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section two.